Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI Overload, and today is gonna be a very serious video, so no laughs or giggles allowed, I mean it. If I see some LOLs or some LMFAOs in the comments, I will get very angry. So uh, w why so serious? What is this video all about? So you see, recently there has been a pretty cool trend since the implementation of the Dreambooth extension in Automatic 1111 repository in the sense that pretty much every single day we now get a bunch load of custom stable diffusion models trained by the community using Dreambooth. Especially one in particular that I will soon make a video about. And that's really super cool and all, but um, the thing is, is that these models are not inherently safe. Believe it or not, that these models could actually contain malicious codes in them that, when loaded in stable diffusion, could run and install viruses on your computer. So in this prevention type slash tutorial video, I will first explain the terms pickle and unpickling and what it means for the safety of stable diffusion models. I will then show you the best practices to use to avoid getting yourself hacked. And then I will show you how to install two security pickle scanners that will analyze any stable diffusion models to check for malicious codes so that you and your data can be safe. So are you ready to rumble? Then let's go. So before we begin, let's actually define what is a pickle. So a pickle is simply a cucumber that has been soaked in brine mixed with spices and as the cucumber sucks up the mixture, it also changes... Oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, sorry. Now, okay, let's be serious for a second here. So to make it simple, a pickle is a Python module that allows you to convert a Python object into a format called a byte stream that can be saved to your disk or transmit it over a network. And when you convert the byte stream back into an object, this is called unpickling. So basically, to make it even more simpler, pickling is taking something big and complex and converting it into something small and simple. And unpickling is doing the opposite, taking something small and simple into something big and complex. And this is the process that is used with the stable diffusion models. And this is also where there is a little problem, because a pickled file can be injected with malicious code, and when the file is loaded in stable diffusion and unpickled, that code will be executed in the background. Now, I'm not gonna go into the full explanation of how this is even possible with the whole TensorFlow remote code execution because this is really super, super complex and you don't need to know about that unless you are a super knowledgeable programmer. So TLDR, or more like TLDW, I suppose, when you load a stable diffusion model that you downloaded from only God knows where website, there is a chance that this model could actually contain a virus that will install on your computer. Yeah, pretty scary, I know. So then, what can you do to avoid getting yourself hacked? Well, first, make sure that you trust where that file is coming from. If this is coming from some weird, shady, sketchy websites, well, downloading a model from that website is probably not the best decision that you made today. So instead, try to download from trusted websites like HuggingFace.co, since they have currently in place a security scanner that scans every file pushed to the hub and runs security checks. They basically run two security checks, an antivirus scan using the open source Clam AV software, and also pickle import scans, which extracts the list of imports referenced in a pickle file. This way you know that if any import looks suspicious, it will be highlighted in red. But as they say themselves, this is not 100% secure. You are still the ones who are responsible for downloading the models onto your computer. So, well, you take the risk with you. So as you can see here as an example, here is a simple CKPT file on the HuggingFace.co website. And right next to the file, you see here a little button that when you click on it, tells you what kind of pickle imports it has detected. And as you can see here, there is absolutely nothing to report. And if you check on this file right here, as you can see, it has detected a certain pickle imports that was highlighted in orange, which could be considered as suspicious, but don't worry because this one is actually completely fine. So now then, what is another layer of security that you can use? So let's say that you have downloaded a model 
and you are really, really scared to use it on your own computer. Well, for this, you can either try to use this model on a Google Colab doc or on a GPU rating site like rumpod.io. This way, you're not using your local stable diffusion installation to load the model and put your computer to the risk of running malicious codes. So for this, I'm simply going to show you how you can use this on a Google Colab doc. Make sure that you have your model uploaded to your Google Drive account. I highly recommend just putting it at the root of your Google Drive account. So right here, then you're going to right click, click on get link. And here under general access, you're going to change from restricted to anyone with the link. And then you're going to click on this button right here to copy the link. Then you're going to go on your Google Colab doc. I'm using the last band fast stable diffusion one. The link for it will be in the description down below. You're going to start by clicking on this button right here to run the cell. Click run anyway. Click connect to Google Drive, select your Google Drive account and click on allow. Then once this is done, you're going to click on the second button right here and wait until the automatic 11.11 repository is installed. Then once this is done, you're going to scroll down and here link to train models. You're going to paste the link that we copied from our Google Drive account and then click on this button right here to run the sale. And as you can see, it is now downloading the model from our Google Drive account. Then once this is done, you're going to click on this button right here to install the requirements and then click on this button here to start Stable Diffusion. And then you can click on this URL right here to start using Stable Diffusion with your dangerous model. But you could even say that that is not 100% secure either, since you need to link your Google Drive account to download the generated images. So there might still be a code inside that could potentially take out some of your Google Drive data or install something else. Now this is very unlikely of course, but again, you never know, better be safe than sorry. So the other solution that is a little bit more secure than Google Colab is to use a GPU renting site like RunPod.io. This way, since you are not linking your Google account with RunPod and you are just downloading the model onto your pod, there is basically no risk for your machine or your Google account to be infected. Now to do this, all you have to do is just choose a GPU. So in my case, I was simply using this one, the RTX A5000. Click on select. For the template, you're gonna choose RunPod Stable Diffusion and then click on continue. Then click on deploy on demand. Then you're gonna click on my pods, click on this arrow right here, on these three buttons right here and click on edit job. And make sure that for volume mount path, it's written slash workspace. Then click connect, start web terminal, connect to web terminal. And here you're gonna type git pull and press enter. And this will automatically update stable diffusion. Then you can go back, click on stop web terminal and then click on connect to Jupyter Lab. So once you are on this page, you're gonna double click on stable diffusion web UI folder, models, stable diffusion, and then you're gonna click on this button right here. Then in a notepad document, you're gonna paste your Google Drive link and this command that you will find in the description down below. For the Google Drive link, you're gonna select this ID right here, Control C to copy it, and you're gonna paste it right here, just after the ID equals. Then you're gonna select this entire command, Control C, and paste it in this cell. And then you're gonna click on this button right here to run the cell. And what this will do is that this will download your model from your Google Drive account and put it in this folder right here. And as you can see, now this is done. All you have to do now is simply click on File and click on Shutdown. And then you're gonna click on this button right here, click on Reset Pod, and then you're gonna reset your pod. And finally, to use Stable Diffusion, you're gonna click on Connect and connect via HTTP. And then in the Stable Diffusion checkpoint, you're gonna select your model. And now you are ready to use it. So if you're really, really not sure about a certain model, I would highly suggest using it on a service like RunPod first and generate a few images. But the problem is, again, is that you could still have a model that works perfectly and that is still somehow able to install a virus on your computer. And that is why you also need another layer of protection. And this layer of protection is by installing and using a security pickle scanner. Now, what the pickle scanner will do is that, as its name implies, it will scan pickled files and try to detect if some Python pickle files are performing suspicious actions. 
and you can use this scanner before or after the loading the model on your computer. Now, if you want to use it before the loading the model, this scanner can only be performed on the hugginface.co website. So if you want to scan a file from another website, you need to download it first on your computer and then run the scan. Now I will show you how you can download and install two different Pico scanners, but no worries, this is actually super super easy. And I will also provide you with a bat file that you can use to run it with a simple click. Now I think that Stable Diffusion already has a layer for protection for Pico files, but you really need to download these scanners anyway because they work best by themselves. Now the first Pico scanner is called Stable Diffusion Pico Scanner. And to be able to use this, this is actually super easy. You're gonna click on this button right here and click on download zip. Then once you've downloaded the archive, you're gonna right click and then you're gonna extract the files. Then inside that folders, you're gonna select pickleinspector.py and picklescan.py, control X to cut it, go into your super stable diffusion 2.0 folder, stable diffusion web UI, and then you're gonna paste these files right here. Then you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then you're gonna click on this button right here to download the bad file. Then you're gonna select the file, Control X to cut it, go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0, Stable Diffusion Web UI, you're gonna paste that file right here. And it should appear just above the Pickle Inspector PY file. Now to be able to use this for you, you need to first launch Stable Diffusion, and you're gonna select this part of the line right here, just after VNV. Control C to copy it, then you're gonna right click on Pickle Inspector Run.bat file, edit with notepad, and then you're gonna replace this part of the line with your own address. Now obviously for me it is already done, but for you it will be a completely different folder URL, and then you can save the file. And then once this is done, all you have to do is just double click on this bad file right here. And after a few seconds, you will see a brand new text file appear called scan underscore output. And if you double click on it, you will see a bunch of lines with a scan passed right below them. And what this means is that basically every single models that are present in the models folder will be analyzed with the pickle inspector and will then tell you if they pass the pickle scan. And in my case, as you can see, every single model passed the scan with flying colors. So to be able to use this pickle inspector option, make sure that your models are indeed in the models stable diffusion folder. Now the second pickle scanner that I'm going to show you is called Python Pickle Malware Scanner. And what's really great with this one is that you can actually scan files from the hugginface.co website before even downloading them on your own computer, which is really super practical. And to install this, this is actually even easier because all you have to do is just come here on your folder URL, type cmd, press enter, and then you're going to paste this command line that you will find in the description down below. pip install pickle scan and then press enter. And then after it's done installing, you're gonna copy and paste this command line that you find in the description down below, pickle scan dash dash hugging face. Then you're gonna go on hugginface.co website and choose a stable diffusion model that you want to scan. Let's say I want to scan this model right here, Disco Elysium by NitroSock. All I have to do is just click on this button right here to copy the model name to clipboard, then go back to the command prompt, press space after hugging face, then control V to paste the address and then press enter. Now it will take between a few seconds and a few minutes to scan the models and then it will tell you if they pass the test or not. And as you can see after a few minutes, we have the final results. And it says right here that there is absolutely no infected files in that whole repository. Now how does it look like if there is an infected files? Well if I take this example right here, press enter, you will see that now it says that there is an infected files in that address. Now don't worry, this is actually not a real virus. This is actually something that was created to prove that there is a way to insert malicious codes into a model. And as you can see right here, this scanner actually found this malicious code. So it is working pretty well. Now if you want to use pickle scan to scan the models in your stable diffusion folder, Again, you can use this bat file that I created just for you. So you can click the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page. Just like the previous bat file, you're gonna click on this button right here to download it. And just like the other bat file, you're gonna select it, Control X to cut it, go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI, you're gonna paste it right here. And then all you have to do is just click on pickle scan model.bat. And as you can see, it will automatically scan every single files and tell you how many are infected or not, which again is super, super useful. 
Well now then, after all of that, are you finally 100% safe and secure for any malicious codes that could be present inside a model's folder? Well, the answer is unfortunately no. At least not as of right now. We might get in the near future a better scanner that could easily identify and stop any malicious codes to harm our computer, but as of right now, this is not the case. But don't worry, with all these layers of protection, you should be able to download stable diffusion models made by the amazing people of this community without any risk. And as of right now, there hasn't been a single case of someone getting hacked, but again, Better be safe than sorry. And there you have it folks, now you should have all the tools that you need to find those pesky malwares. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.